Hello and welcome back to the channel. Tis I, Ken Levine, singer slash vocal coach, and today we have we have something special, something that I want to do. This isn't a fan request or suggestion. This is just something that felt right. It is Friday. I just want to rock. I just want to chill out, turn my brain off, and listen to something that I love. This is from 1970, When the Levee Breaks. Now, this was well seeped into my DNA back in when I was about 15 years old. I listened to it nonstop. Led Zeppelin IV, that classic album from 1970. And uh, yeah, it's been a while. So I think it's time to revisit Led Zeppelin, When the Levee Breaks. Because I don't think it gets much better than that. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Anytime. Turn it up. Oh, that drum beat, John Bonham was a genius. Now, do you hear, do you hear that just ever so slight feather tap? Just that double tap on the kick drum. It's just like a call and response. Now, someone told me that this, that effect on the drums was, was, uh, somewhat synthetic. It was part of the limiters put, placed on the microphones that they had three stories up where he recorded the drums apparently in the bottom of a stairwell, like in a parkade or something, like a concrete parkade. I, I don't know. It's just such a satisfying effect that they have on the whole thing. The drums make it. <laughs> Okay, okay, I just want to stop there after the harmonica solo. I don't know how to describe the, f the sound of that harmonica other than it, it, just, it just feels like it's seeping into your soul as you listen to it. It's from another realm entirely. It's, it's the soul of the harmonica, not the harmonica itself. Does that make any sense? I gotta listen to that. And Robert Plant is playing the harmonica on this, right? Like, that's just crazy. He's 22. He's 22 when this recording was made. Or was he 21? Somewhere around there. That's... That just blows my mind. It just, <laughs> just blows my mind. Okay, this to me is where Led Zeppelin shines. They are at their best. This is home base for this band at that time. This 
dirty, grungy, swampy sound that they have created here. It just, it's such a groove. It is such an incredible groove. And it's, it's a classic. Now, I know the whole album is amazing. It's an amazing album. But to me, this represents like, like the best of what Led Zeppelin really has to offer. Sure, okay. Yes, Stairway to Heaven, absolute masterpiece. However, this is, to me, this is that Led Zeppelin sound that just, it's just it feels so raw and real. And, and I love it. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> okay, I got more to say. I'm gonna shut up now. Let's just listen to the rest. Okay, shout out to the creator of this video, Matthew Fuji. I will leave a link down to his channel. Um, he created this wonderful video of, of the Hindenburg. <laughs> you can see the perk there. Uh, and uh, that we're all enjoying. So uh, wonderful work. And I, I am enjoying the visuals that accompany this. That and the footage of Led Zeppelin uh, playing live, that's all really cool from back in the day. Robert Plant's vocals on this, just the, ah, that, that sort of James Brown gritty shout thing that he had going on. It, it's just, it feels so primal. One of the things that I, I kind of like about this tune is that, yeah, the, the lyrics tell a story, uh, a historical event, but that's, they're not necessarily married to the lyrics. It's more about the groove. It's more about the feel. I was talking to one of my students about this. Articulating the lyrics clearly isn't what's called for. It's, it's not about your stupid, crappy lyrics. It's about, the, it's about the feeling. I mean, this is, this is rock after all. It's, it's not about, it's not about Shakespeare. <laughs> it can be, it can be. But it's not about that. It's about something a little bit more primal. That's my feeling anyway. Okay, right there, right there, there's this push and pull. Like, they weren't tied to a metronome. They were tied to the groove, you know? And that, I, I feel that sometimes when everything's so meticulously done to some sort of click, you, you lose a little bit of that and that, that energy that can be built up by pushing the groove and then pulling back, you know, that, that ebb and flow. You, you need that. Yeah, well... Not every rock band needs that. Not, you know, ACDC, for instance, very much 4-4, four, four, very common time, and it works, right? This is not that. This is, we're in for a vibe. This is a different, different groove uh, entirely, and it really down to the feel of the drummer. Bonham was a genius. It's just so, so cool. <laughs> Oh, you got to 
So this song describes that historical event in 1927 when the Mississippi River broke its banks and flooded like huge acres of the Mississippi Delta. And it was a huge catastrophe. So when the levee breaks, what's it? Crying won't help you and praying won't do you no good. It is, it's an ad admission of the forces of nature that man is always contended against. And we have maybe in our modern era successfully, or at least we feel we've successfully insulated ourselves from the the chaos and the wrath of God. And it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And I feel like this song kind of captures that, or at least the, the groove does, of the unstoppable force of nature. And when God wants you to come home, <laughs> ain't nothing going to stop you. You are forced and compelled. There's something about this this track that just captures that that essence so well Visuals are so great. Uh, that's fantastic. Um, the flange, flange effects on Robert Plant's vocals, so perfect. When he comes in on that that third verse, just it's just so right. As the the song continues to build, the layers reveal themselves slowly and in their own time. And it, it's nothing feels forced. It feels absolutely where it needs to be. It has to be that that way. And then there's these. Interesting moments where it feels like they're like a reverse tape effect on the guitar. There's a guitar solo, especially right now. I'm not entirely sure if how that effect was achieved. <clears throat> and also, too, Robert Plant's vocals are just, they're at their best right now. Very clean off the top, and then that incredible gritty distortion that he has access or had access to back in the day. <laughs> It was so incredible. Ah oh, man, we got we got another 30 seconds here. Let's let's take us out. Take us out, Led Zeppelin. Take us out. So cool. So incredibly cool.
Wow. Yeah. I I I do fear that they, we will never see the like of a band like that again with that same kind of creative mojo. But those are just a few of my thoughts. What are your thoughts? You can leave those thoughts down <laughs> below in the chat. No doubt you have a lot to say about some of these tracks. Maybe many memories like mine. I was transported back in time listening to this on a a dirty, dusty little tape player in my buddy's pool room. And anyway, maybe you have something like that too. Maybe there was a special moment for you listening to this. Also too, if you want to get a hold of me and share some of those memories privately, you can do that. There are links down in, below in the description. You can make a suggestion about what you'd like to hear next on this channel, as well as if you are so inclined, leave a kind donation to the channel. A anything is gratefully accepted. As well too, if you are not yet a member, of this fabulous community of music lovers and vocal aficionados. What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, notification bell, join the clan. And uh, so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff that we produce here every week on the channel. I say we, but it's just me, just me, just me in my studio here doing what I do, coaching and listening to music. And I think that about wraps it up. Lastly, let me just say thank you so much for taking time out of your super busy day and spending a few of those precious moments here with me. Much love and appreciation to you all. Stay safe out there, and we will see you next time. <laughs>